This is a big one that a lot of people were waiting for. Newegg.com is now accepting Bitcoin on their website. So, uh, you know, now you can go on Newegg and buy all kinds of computer components. There's a lot of really good um, electronics selection there. So, yeah, that's a, this, nerds have been waiting a long time for this one. Yes, I'm so happy that Newegg is finally accepting Bitcoin. Uh, Tiger Direct is great, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. but compared compared to Newegg, their selection of things you can buy is just it, it just can't compete with Newegg. You can get anything from Newegg, and um, and now you can get it with Bitcoin, and that's really awesome. Yeah, like uh, I don't shop on Newegg that often. But uh, I have used it in the past for buying like little uh, electronic components that I needed or cables and such uh, to connect something that, and I didn't have the specific cable I needed. They have really good prices on cables and stuff like that. So next time I need uh, a random USB cable or Ethernet cable or something, go to Newegg, get it for pretty cheap, and pay in Bitcoin. So good. good yeah, for them. like like I'm looking to get a. Um a bigger hard drive for this little Chromebook I bought recently and I wanted to pay in Bitcoin so I looked at Tiger Direct and they didn't have the one that I was looking for and I was bummed about that mm. but they have it on Newegg so you know so now when nice. I'm ready to buy it I'm gonna get it from Newegg with Bitcoin yeah nice nice so yeah I, I I'm I'm gonna take this opportunity to declare uh, that Bitcoin is officially mainstream I'm using this new egg story as as a jumping off point for that. Uh, set it right here, July third, twenty fourteen. Bitcoin is mainstream now. At this point, I'm beginning to feel like every new major retailer that starts to accept Bitcoin, it's just kind of like, meh, great, awesome. Like we've got in the just in the past month, we've had Dish, Expedia. Uh, now new egg, uh, Tiger Direct Canada version of the website, like. At this point, it's it's fairly mainstream. We're getting a lot of big retailers accepting it. Uh, you can buy a ton of different gift cards for tons of different stores on gift.com. So really, like at this point, you can buy pretty much anything with Bitcoin, and it's great. Yeah, uh, you can basically live off Bitcoin if you want, yeah. which reminds me, um, I got an email from Zappo about the Bitcoin debit card. I know you wrote an article about it uh, yes, like a month ago or so. Yes. They're going to start shipping out their cards in July. They're finishing up. They're making their final touches on it. Uh, and they're getting ready to ship them out. And that's going to be pretty yeah. awesome. Then you literally can live off Bitcoin if you want to. Yeah. The Zappo debit card is finally coming out in July. Um, they said that all, all the people who previously made um, uh, pre-orders of the card uh, should should have their card by the end of the month. So once that happens, you'll be able to load Bitcoins into your Zappo um, account. They've got two different sides to it. One is a vault, and then one is like a hot wallet for spending. And you'll be able to spend from your hot wallet using the debit card. And the debit card will be accepted basically wherever debit cards are accepted so you know it'll be perfect integration uh between the bitcoin network and traditional legacy payment processors like visa and mastercard and such so that that connection is coming down the pipe and should be pretty interesting to see how that happens yeah i saw a guy he's a pretty prominent member of the bitcoin community but i can't remember his name right now he wrote an article a few weeks ago about um, Bitcoin, how there's like uh, five stages of any revolutionary new technology. Mm. And um, Bitcoin is in the disruption phase where it's like, uh, where it's like directly challenging, um, directly challenging the existing technology that it's uh, meant to replace. Yeah. And he says that's the stage that Bitcoin is in right now. And then when it will become uh, mainstream and used by everybody is when it goes through the user interface stage, uh, which hmm. is which is when the new technology becomes extremely easy to use. Like an example, yeah. I saw like I saw somebody on Reddit making uh, use uh, email for an example. Um, when email was first created, you know, it was really hard to use. 
um, you could only, you had to, nobody had an email address. You had to type in their IP address to send them a message. And then, you know, the clients were really clunky and, like, not very pretty to look at or whatever. Um, but then when, like, when AOL, Netscape, and all these, all those uh, internet uh, services started making email easier to use, you know, it took off. Yeah. And so I think if we're going by this guy's article, I think these Bitcoin debit cards uh, is is the first step into the user interface phase. So Bitcoin is definitely going mainstream. And it's, yeah. it's crazy because we've just had a constant stream of good news pretty much ever since the beginning of 2014 when Overstock started accepting Bitcoin. Yeah. And ever since then, it's just been nothing but good news. 